Hi, I'm Maris Olson, owner of SewMaris.com. Today, I want to show you how to hem dress pants, skirts, and dresses just like they do in ready to wear using a blind hem stitch. Let's get started. Blind hemming is accomplished by using the blind hem foot and the blind hem stitch on your sewing machine. The purpose of this uh, stitch is to emulate hand hemming, but the benefit is that it's much faster to accomplish because you can use your sewing machine. So to prepare your garment for blind hemming, you want to mark your new hemline and press that in place. So this crease right here is the new hemline and the distance between that crease and this next fold is called your hem depth. So that depth can be really whatever you want it to be, but common is one and a half to two and a half inches. Then this distance on the underside, this bit of fabric on the underside is your turn back, your hem turn back. And you want that turn back to be a good half an inch or even more. If you're dealing with a very lightweight fabric, it's a good idea to um, make, you can make that hem depth all the way down to the actual hem line, and that adds a little bit of weight to the hem. Now, one other thing about blind hemming that you need to keep in mind is this stitch and this technique is much better on a straight silhouette. So pant legs that are straight, skirts and dresses that are straight, if you have a flared silhouette, it doesn't work as well because you're trying to get fullness, you're trying to ease that extra fullness into the hem and it, it's not ideal for this technique. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is start the actual blind hem on a pair of pants. So you're looking at the inside of the pant leg and this is the hem edge. Here's the hem and I've pinned it just below the hem, top hem edge and this is the turn back area. So what in order to get this blind hem to work correctly, what you need to do is Hold on to your hem in your right hand and flip so that the hem is against the body of the sewing machine. What that does is that exposes the turn back area and also folds back the garment. So you can see my garment is to the left and the hem is against the body of the machine and to the right, okay? So you put the blade right against the fold of the garment and go ahead and start stitching, okay? And just start slowly. And what you want to keep your eye on, you can take these pins out that are holding your hem up. You take those out as you go along. And what you wanna do is you wanna keep your eye on that left swing of the needle that's going against the garment. And what you're trying to do is watch and make sure that the needle is actually catching on the garment. Sometimes you have to adjust your needle position a little bit in order to make sure that you're really catching the garment fabric.
Sometimes when you go, this little blade will catch sometimes on the seam allowance. So you might have to either just lift your foot up a little bit and smooth things out or pull a little bit from the back of the fabric just to get over that hump of the seam allowance. Okay, so now I'm back to where I started from and I'm just going to over stitch by a couple of stitches. There you go. And you're done. So the way that you check your blind hem is you just give a gentle tug just to make sure that the left hand swing of the needle actually caught on the garment and it did and then you look from the outside and that looks just great very it's a very invisible hem with just a little prick stitch as if you had stitched it by hand but instead you were able to do it on the machine much faster than you could accomplish the same task by hand Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd love it if you would like or subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And also, if you have any questions or comments about this video or anything else on my blog, somaris.com, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching.